Hi, if you're new here, I want to say sorry for the background noise. I live on a very busy street. Here's some dogs I drew. Come along and I'll color them. Speaking of dogs, my dog is okay. If y'all saw my last video and were concerned, um, it was actually a joke. I was joking about how I threatened to throw her into the sun the other video, but whatever, whatever, whatever. That's not our topic for today. That's not our topic for today. Our topic for today is Kara. I actually happened to make a Kara account when there was only one video on it that I could find, which would be Chiyu's video. And now just a couple of days later, it's like all I'm hearing about in the art community. To start on this topic, we need a little bit of backstory first. So recently Meta, the company that owns Instagram and Facebook, among other things, I'm sure you know of them, announced that they are training their AI, Meta AI, on everything that is posted to their platform. That includes photos, videos, captions, everything, the works. The best part about this is that depending on where you live, you don't have the option to opt out. Or if you are given the option, it's an incredibly tedious process. And from what I understand, it's still Meta's choice at the end of the day. However, personally, I haven't really been enjoying Instagram at all lately anyway. As much as I like memes and stuff, it just seems like I'm seeing less art from people I enjoy and more like memes and posts from accounts I don't even follow. The algorithm sucks and it prioritizes short form video content like reels, which also isn't good for artists who just want to post pictures of their art. I understand if you're like, you like making reels and TikToks. Me personally, for my art, I have a hard time doing like process videos. You know? Um, so it's hard to frequently post reels and short form content like that. Photos are pretty much the only thing I have going for me. Photos in these YouTube videos. Plus, I feel like there's like not as much of a reach on Instagram as there used to be. Like, I feel like I used to be able to post like one terrible drawing and at least get like a, a good amount of interactions from it. And I'm not just talking likes, I'm talking comments and all that other stuff. And now it's like I post something and it hardly gets any actual engagement. It's just like likes and I don't know. It's, it doesn't feel as interactive anymore, you know? I feel like things like this have kind of led to this thing of the art community just being less connected. Like I feel like I don't interact with artists as much anymore because most of the posts on my feed are not from the art community. They're just posts that Instagram thinks I'll like. And I do, but that's not really what I use Instagram for. Like, when I'm on TikTok, I want to laugh. When I'm on Instagram, I kind of want to see art and like get ex inspired. But now I'm just getting TikToks on my Instagram and it's kind of frustrating. Not to mention, many of the main social media platforms that are for artists, like ArtStation or DeviantArt, are having a major influx in AI-generated content amongst all the human-made art. Like, honestly, DeviantArt was going downhill before all the AI stuff anyway, but that's a whole other basket of eggs. We all know what DeviantArt's deal is nowadays. And if you're somehow unaware of why so many artists are so against AI, basically, it's just because AI has to be trained on something in order to produce images. And currently, many artists who post online have had their works taken without their permission to tra train AI programs. I mean, when you think about it, many of these companies are also scraping works from artists who have died like artists who posted their work on instagram and now are dead and they don't have a way to opt out even if they are in a country where you can technically opt out it, and that's obviously a whole other moral dilemma um but to make matters worse um there's even many artistic jobs that are being threatened right now due to companies wanting to use AI instead of human work so they can cut down on their expenses. They don't have to actually pay artists, they can just get a machine to do it for them for free. But it's cruelly ironic to train something on the works of humans with the intent of pushing those same humans out of artistic financial opportunities. And that's where Kara comes in. Now I'm not even about to over exaggerate or say that I think Kara will kill Instagram. That's just not realistic, even for the art community. Many artists have to rely on mainstream media platforms like Instagram or Twitter because that's how they get discovered or get commissions or sell their products for their small businesses. A lot of people make a living based on those sorts of platforms and there's nothing wrong with that. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. And unfortunately, if you are an artist like that, you can't just up and leave and go to a different platform. 
Because for those people, completely moving over to an artist-only platform would take away their entire customer base, or what have you. That ain't to say that I don't think Kara has any place in the art community or any place in your own social media presence. I personally think that it's a great app that I will definitely continue to use, and I honestly urge you guys to support it. Because for me, it just, it's really fun. So Kara is a platform, like I said, made by artists for artists. It's currently got a ban on AI-generated content, but they did say that if the use of AI becomes ethical, then they will be open to it. But for right now, it's very nice to be able to scroll on a feed with nothing but human-made art. I've actually kind of gotten obsessed with it because it's just so refreshing. Like, you can post your own art or post others' art on your timeline, similar to a reblog or a retweet. And you can also post text-only posts to your timeline, which I really enjoy because I'm a blabber. There's a feed tab on your account page which shows your feed and it includes reposts, text posts, and art posts. But there's also a portfolio tab which only includes art posts that you select for it. And it's got a really similar look to Instagram, a grid format showing off all of your work. The work that you choose for it. It's very easy to navigate for the most part and the user interface is very friendly and fairly easy to use. You also have an about tab on your profile where you can write a bio about yourself and what you do and a section where you can disclose what sort of work you do and your availability for work. There's also a likes tab which shows your likes, obviously. Another thing I like about it is that your following feed is all chronological. It's very like old internet. And I definitely prefer that over some algorithm that thinks it knows what I want. That's really rude. Like, come on. You're just assuming. You're assuming you know what I want to see. You know what they say about assuming, guys. Speaking of feeds, you have a home feed and a following feed. Pretty self-explanatory. What I like about it is you can customize your home feed. You can uh, set up how much you want to see from people you don't follow compared to people you do follow or people that are kind of in your network. I'm bad at explaining, but it's pretty nifty, and I like being given the choice. I also just want to mention how much I love the variety on here already. I've seen like tattoo artists, uh, photographers, people who do 3D art, 2D art, all different sorts of art styles and art skill levels, and it kind of brings me back to when I used to use DeviantArt before, you know. Listen, DeviantArt's a scary place. We're not going to talk about that. Another thing about Kara is that there's no ads currently, which is super nice because I'm a proud ad hater, but honestly, I feel like it's probably just inevitable that they'll have to sell some ad space to keep the servers up. It's just the way of these things usually. I mean, most social media platforms start off without ads. I don't have a problem with it. I just think ads are fucking annoying, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But right now it's ad free, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of soaking that up like a sponge. There's an explore section, it's not actually called that, I'm just going to call it that for, uh, for, to be brief. Uh, you'll find a few tabs on there. You'll find the discover tab, the latest tab, and what is currently Mermaid 2024, but I assume that tab will change to various like trending challenges like, you know, Inktober and stuff. And they also have a news tab, which just kind of gives you updates on the app and uh, it's got some FAQs, some interesting stuff. Each section is pretty self-explanatory, um, and there's also a search function. I have some things to say about this part of the app, but I will save that for just a bit so I can address some stuff. Um, there have been some rumors, and you know, ju people are justifiably concerned, there have been some rumors going around that Kara actually recently addressed, which I think is great. I think it would have been really shady if they didn't address it, but they did. Um, and I'll throw the post up for you now to read in full, but if you like, I'll basically give you the rundown. Not if you like, you're gonna have to listen to it out of the way. According to them, Kara does not make you sign away your copyright. They just get permission to host your images on the site itself, which makes sense. That's what you're posting it there for, to be displayed on the site. Um, Kara does not train Hive AI on the things you post. They use Hive AI to detect AI generated images that one might try to post on the site in order to keep it off the site. And lastly, Kara's founder is an artist herself. She's a photographer with some amazing and unique work, and she has filed lawsuits against various AI companies on behalf of artists. And I think that's very cool and a testament to her character because lawsuits are not cheap. Or I mean, maybe she has a lot of money. I don't know. I'm poor, so lawsuits are expensive to me, okay guys? Okay? 
sit in your million dollar mansion uh watching this youtube video I, yeah i see you i bet you're i bet you're like oh lawsuits are i i okay i don't know why i just like did a trump voice like trump donald trump is watching this video right now actually anyway um <clears throat> that's stupid okay sorry guys we lost the plot a little as I was saying, I feel pretty confident that as things are right now, there shouldn't be too much of a concern over like AI and AI infiltration and, and, and scraping of the website. Um, of course, you know, it's always something to keep in mind. It can always happen. Things can always turn out to be um, crazy, pretty crazy and kooky. But right now I'm pretty, I, I feel pretty, I feel pretty comfortable posting on the app. And I figure, you know, if I post on Instagram, I know it's gonna get scraped for AI, so, you know, might as well give Kara a try anyway. Speaking of which, Kara is also partnered with a company called Glaze, and if you're not aware, what Glaze does is it basically puts a overlay on your drawing or your photo, and it doesn't change the appearance of the photo whatsoever, but it does scramble the pixels, so that way, if an AI tries to scrape that photo to train its um, database or whatever to train its system, um, it basically just fucks with it and it can't properly recognize anything in the picture and if it tries to replicate uh, stuff from the picture it ends up looking all scrambled and terrible so it's a really cool tool and even if you don't want to give Kara a try I would still really recommend uh, checking out Glaze especially if you want to continue posting on Instagram but are worried over the AI stuff just go to Glaze and put a filter over your drawing and then post that drawing on Instagram. And hopefully, hopefully, if enough people do it, maybe it's just gonna, just cause it's just gonna fuck up the AI altogether. That would be awesome, guys. Let's do that, let's do that, guys. Of course, I do still wanna mention some minor cons. So this app is still in beta, which means there's gonna be a few bugs. Um, not to mention, since all of the meta stuff happened, I'm sure you can see how there's been a major influx of new users. According to a post from its founder, there's like 300K users and the app actually made it to the top five in the trending on the app store. So needless to say, the massive influx is making the servers a little slow and their small team, hashtag small team, but outside of the app being like occasionally slow whenever you want to post, which honestly that's gotten a lot better in the past couple of days, I think they're like updating their servers. Um, but another thing that I think could be improved on and I think will be improved on is on the like explore kind of page, um, there's not really a lot of content. Like I'll get to like maybe two or three scrolls and I've already reached the end of the page. I just wish it would show, you know, more. Maybe I'm just like, used to all these endless scrolling apps. I don't know, but I think that would be cool. And I think that's probably gonna be an evolution that the app will take, I would imagine so. But yeah, while I don't think that Kara is a, a major replacement for Instagram uh, for many people, I think that it's a fun site and I still recommend you check it out and give it a go. And hey, while you're at it, uh, I'm on there. My username is Ultramay. Go give me a follow, go give me a comment. I think that as the app matures, it'll gain more and more potential. I honestly even think it could be a source of financial revenue for some artists if it gets big enough and attracts like recruiters or, you know, other artists who want to be a customer base. I don't know. But if you want to support Kara, they're open to donations and it would help them keep up the servers because right now, from what I understand, the servers are very, very expensive and they are very overwhelmed with the support. Thanks for watching y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if there's any video ideas you have for me, drop them in the comments. I'm trying to upload more. So I'll see you next time. Peace.